Yeah, you can see me. Anyway, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Country Time Sparkling Pink Lemonade. These are those little tiny cans that uh, they came out with along the same lines as Kool-Aid, uh, what is it, Sparkling. So this is Country Time in the Pink Lemonade version. Uh, like our previous video. And here is an example of the two Country Time lemonades that are available. And on the, on the box it says new, no artificial flavors or preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup. Now, let's uh, see about opening this up. I bought a whole case of it, just like the last time with the regular lemonade. And yes, I did finish those off. Those were rather, rather good. And let me park this somewhere decent on the floor, I suppose. There we go. Mm. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It is a seven and a half ounce can. Once again, they shorted you half an ounce. Um, don't know exactly why, but they do this with uh, Pepsi and Coke as well. Uh, sometimes it's eight, maybe even ten ounces, but typically it's seven and a half. So here's the overall appearance of the Country Time sparkling water can. It's kind of um, a novel, if you will, to have depictions of generic impression or generic designs of lemons or apples or what have you on these modern cans and sometimes very plain cans if you will. Here's nutrition facts and ingredients and then obviously there's a UPC and information about the company. Let's go over the nutrition facts real quick. It says serving size one can they're pretty much on par uh, servings per container, 1 calories, 80. Total fat, 0 grams. Sodium, 55 milligrams. Total carbohydrates, 19 grams. Sugars, 18 grams. Protein, 0 grams. And no indication of vitamins or minerals. Once again, Country Time Sparkling Pink Lemonade. I'll try to bring her in here a little closer. Even though my lighting is poor right now. And obviously you can tell we are shooting in the afternoon, but it's kind of dark in this room. So here we go. And we have our old trusty glass. It's been sitting on standby. And uh, here we go with the pour. There we go. Not too bad on that head as it quickly disappears. Somewhat. Okay. Now let's go for that whiff test. Clear out the nasal passages and the lungs. And here we go. There's a there, there's a hint of lemonade. All right, let's give it a taste. Okay, it's stronger in the taste than it actually smells. A very strong, robust uh, lemonade flavor. I don't know exactly. I mean, it, I've never bothered looking to see whether it, the pink coloration was just simply a coloration or some other derivative here. I'm trying to see here. We're just going to assume that it's a color additive, even though I don't. Vegetable. Vegetable juice. Ah, vegetable juice color. According to this, stevia extract. 
Okay. Well, I'm going. I'm going to hazard a guess that I was drinking stevia in the regular one as well. So. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Well, one more sip here. Maybe that's the scent. There seems to be a secondary scent, but I don't know if it was... Okay. I was just, I was rather curious because I initially washed this, but it's been at least a week since I've used it. So, there it is. So what do I think about Country Time's Sparkling Pink Lemonade? I want to give it a thumbs up, just like I did the last one. It has a very strong and, and very decent flavor. And so, you know, as, as typical with any Country Time product, it's pretty good. And with that... This is the end of the video. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends and I'll see you next time. Take care.